Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be reacting to 4.4C Hood's Hottest. Thank you to Jack for the recommendation. Sorry it's taken me a while to get it out, son. Thank you for reminding me to do it. Uh, yeah, 4.4C, I believe we've heard one song from him before. It was Life in the Pool, if I'm not mistaken. This one, Hood's Hottest, as stated. Gonna see what it's about, gonna see what flavour he brings on this track. I'm sure it's gonna be as good as the last one, if not even better. So, without any further ado, let's jump into it. Please leave a like if you enjoy, please subscribe for more, and comment down below anything else you would like to see from myself. Without any further ado, guys, let's go. Don't let the world get you down. When it does get you down, get up and write what you want out of your life and don't fucking stop. It's fucking Joey Diaz. That is fucking Joey Diaz. <laughs> I love Jerry, man. <laughs> He's fucking hilarious. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's start again. Joey, if if it's got you involved, son, I already know it's going to be fire. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that, I know, that's my kind of catchphrase now, but I really wasn't expecting Joey Diaz. You know Is that a kid? There ain't no vacations, only when people with credit card debt take vacations. You get up every fucking day, you look in the mirror, and you tell that mirror I'm a bad motherfucker. And one way or another, I'm gonna make it fucking happen today, and guess what? This is like uh, Andrew Tate if he was fat and addicted to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Joey Diaz is like right now. I'm a bad <laughs> and and not a, a sex trafficker. If you keep writing it down after a while, the power of the pen, you'll fucking believe it. Next thing you know, you'll be swinging dick like Kevin Spacey, you know what I'm saying? Not it's Kevin over. Spacey. Boy, they didn't get my mind till I bing up. Okay. Oh. That's why you part of the church, motherfucker. I see what it's got. You, you're with me. And they want to be with us. You know I'm picking up the pace mm. when you start on the moaning. Then it must be new to get lost in the moment. Probably gonna say something bad like I love ya. Remember being broke, no food in the cupboard. So it seems like it's going to be a bit more of an emotional kind of started from the bottom, now I'm here kind of thing. This is going to be interesting to hear. I don't think he was doing that sort of stuff on the last one. It was more talking about guns and, and slinging certain substances. I, I think, anyway, I might have to go back and, and listen to that song again just to hear if he's still talking on this emotional beat. Was he? I remember another guy being a bit emotional, but I'm not sure if that was the same guy. I don't think that was the same guy. Probably gonna say something bad like I love ya Remember being broke, no food in the cupboard Since the age of ten, I've been, been out of trouble Tell you about hard time, tell you about struggle Lost both hands when I was stuck in the shovel Every time your name gets dragged to the rubble The gloves come on, you know I get busy Valley in a high post, someone going missing Summertime shoot out, so don't be slipping Need oh. a bigger bag to fit in this smithing Need lazy bands when I'm out on the busy Top life babies, things are Bobby and Whitney Bobby and Whitney. I believe that's a reference to Whitney Houston and her partner who was abusive. I believe they did drugs together. I think it was cocaine. <laughs> TL. What is it with songs recently and, and they're all to do with like mental health, suicide, families leaving? Again, if, if any of you need uh, any sort of help, then, then please seek it and get it because, as I said before, we, we only get one shot at this and, uh, well, if, if you don't believe in an afterlife, but even if you do, then there's a potential that this is it and that you're wrong. And if it is it, then do you want to spend your life being sad and miserable or do you want to try and get what you deserve, which is what we all deserve, which is happiness throughout this shit show that is life. <laughs> 
Tot niet van morgen kan landen, mijn zwaaien op mijn bed. Voeg een steen naar de ceiling. Oud met intranen, control mijn brieven. Mijn smashing shit, want ik ga geen shit te feelen. Door een few demons dat ik ga zien te deal with. Trying to fix up every day, but this life shit, I'm trying to do right. For all the wrong I did, I'm sorry that I wrecked your life with that toughness. Just know if I could take it back, I'd do it properly and loved you that much. It broke me mentally. Now I've got a new thing who gets me in an S3. You know it's a mazzo when I get it in them sheets. Gang, gang, shit in this. Blondies filthy, now we're in Santa's and I've got her doing zombies. <laughs> I'm surrounded by got doing zombies. Filthy, now we're in Santa's and I've got her doing zombies. Twerking on the table, I'm surrounded by bad bees. Took her to the toilet, give her what she needs. Liable to death, I'm looking. If you, any young people out there, if you've got a, a significant other, treat her somewhere nicer than the toilets. Because when you, when you eventually tell that story and if you break up, you bet your ass she's going to tell everyone she fucking knows. Um, it's not going to be a good luck that you fucked her in a toilet. I'll just put it out there. I've known guys who've fucked girls in toilets and you, you, they don't come out. You, no one thinks, oh, wow, lucky lady. Oh, lucky, I need a piece of him. It's, it's kind of a steer clear of this one, then. Probably be back together. Got on the lace, summer one tens. Then we probably be back together. I know we have madness. This is kind of how it goes. Break up, back together, break up, back together. That's why I stay with it. Want and times of fucking hanging out me window. Throw a little line and get the goodies off the neighbor. Bob me made lucky, so I slashed them with a gamer. It's when it won, nearly finished for the murder. Fully telling lies and I'm not trying to hear it. I remember days queuing up at the savory. Now I get snaked and it don't even hurt me. Madman, I fucking whack you with the ZK. Me life like a movie. Don't want to press play, you know you're gonna watch me blow. In a bad way, I'm not coming home because baby, I'm gonna catch this. I block a fast enough. No, 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 that one snuck up on me. Usually I get an idea of when it's going to end. I did not, I oh, I thought you might have another verse. That was cold. Jack, you are right for reminding me. Thank you. That was fire. That was fire. This guy always kills it. Uh, if you or anyone else has any other tracks that you want to hear from him, then just, just, Pop them in the comment section below and I'll, I'll get round to it, like I say. Yeah, man, that, that was cold. A bit more emotional than, than maybe we're necessarily used to, but that wasn't a bad thing. It brings a different flavour. If, if all the songs were the same, then there's no point listening to music, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it was interesting. It's nice. It's been, it, these last, I don't know, m maybe last four or five songs that I've reacted to been quite heavy. Um... So so it's interesting that we've we've kind of gone from the more light-hearted Pete and Baz Northern Boys tracks to getting into more um um serious and heavy topic tracks which is great it, either way it's fine um the heavier topics obviously provide a bit more of a talking point and obviously give a bit more of a a, a thoughtful message whereas the fun and jokey songs you tend to have a bit more of a good time I'll tend to leave smiling but these get me thinking these get my mind kind of uh, whirring and, and start making me uh, introspective on my own life and things that have happened to me and my own thoughts and feelings. And that's what good music does, you know. If, if it doesn't make you feel anything, then it hasn't really had its intended effect. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it from me, guys. As I said at the start, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please subscribe for more. Comment down below anything else you'd like to see from me. Hopefully, there's another thing that I didn't mention at the start of the video. Hopefully the lighting is a bit more uniform now. I've actually bought a ring light. Hopefully you should be able to tell because I'm backlit rather than top lit or side lit. Um, I don't know <laughs> if any of you pay that much attention to my videos, but it's something that bothers me because usually I'll have to put a white screen on my TV to try and counteract the light that's coming in through the window. But this time I've just shut my curtains, 
put the ring light on and it should. Uh, oh, it looks better on my camera, but you guys let me know. That's going to be it from me, guys. Till next time, see you later.